Obviously, I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Remarks. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Remarks. Great show today, and uh, let's just go straight into it. So, Microsoft's vice president, the, the, the vice president of Microsoft Studios, has gone on record basically saying that he doesn't think that there will be an Xbox One, um, you know, like a, uh, a shortage like there was with the 360. He says as far as the consoles go, as far as the controllers go, and as far as the games go, there shouldn't be a shortage. And basically day one, he suspects that you'll be able to walk into a store and just buy one off the shelf. All that says to me is he's pretty, like, not very happy with the pre-order numbers, and so he's hoping that the pre he did say in the article that I read that pre-orders wasn't the business. Being able to walk into the store and have that experience of buying the console, that's the business. To me, it sounds like there's not a ton of pre-orders, and so he's going, well, you know what, though? We may not have a ton of pre-orders, but that's not the business. The business isn't just pre-orders. It's being able to walk in and buy your console, and uh, we'll see about that. Um, that's it for gaming news for today. I'm going to talk about Riddick. Warning, the following rant about Vin Diesel's new movie Riddick is about to be mildly spoiled. If you have any desire to see this movie and don't want to know minor plot points going into the film, then stop watching now, and we'll see you on the next edition of Mark's Remarks. If you don't mind knowing certain things about the movie and want to continue watching, then continue watching. Stop listening to me and just, and, and, okay, go. Yesterday, we went to the movie theaters to watch Vin Diesel's new movie, Riddick. And let me tell you about how awesome it was. It wasn't that awesome. Um, I went in with pretty low expectations, especially since I went ahead and watched a review of, uh, of, the, uh, of the movie. And I it pretty much confirmed everything I thought as a lot of Vin Diesel being like, I'm Vin Diesel, and I am good at everything because I'm Vin Diesel, or Riddick, whatever. Um, and then halfway through the movie, it's it's the first half is just is just Riddick, and then you're like, why is Riddick here? Why is he on this planet full of everything that wants to kill him? And then he moves the super heavy stone has nothing to do with it, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Um, and then um, he like goes to sleep and it's just a flashback of why he's there, you know, he's in this badass armor and and he's like, I'm the best and he's drinking alcohol and he, he's like, he's like the, uh, the uh, head of, who knows, the head of security, I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> not that much really. And, uh, and uh, so then he wants to go to Furion, which is his home planet, I guess, and uh, so he uh, he he. You see Carl Urban for two seconds, and then he goes to the planet, and uh, and so then he's on the planet. He gets left there, and uh, and uh, and that's it. So then everything wants to kill him. So then the people land because he sends out like this distress beacon, and uh, and uh, so then a couple people come. And one is like the dad of the dude, Johns, from the first movie, Pitch Black. And the other ones are just bounty hunters, and they're way more funnier than the other super serious. We need to fight Riddick. Um, and we, uh, then all of a sudden, after, after the first half of the movie of only seeing Vin Diesel, you suddenly do not see him again until, like, the very end, almost, it feels like. And... There's a couple of beauty shots of him being a badass, and I do that because he was on a motorcycle one part. And uh, overall, we we left, and I expected everyone to be like, "Oh yeah, it was badass." And I was just gonna kind of keep quiet on my uh, opinions about it. And everyone was like, "Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty lame." And I was like, "All right." I wasn't the only one that thought it was pretty lame. So uh, 
That was good. It was worth a matinee show, but I wouldn't pay what I paid to go watch it $8. Um, also, if you're gonna watch it, I guess watch it in 3D because it was shot, it looks like it was shot in 60 frames because the CG animals don't really look very, they look very fake. And it's because the frame rate that they're moving in. So I'm assuming if you see it in 3D, it's supposed to be like, oh, it's supposed to be beautiful. And so, uh, so yeah, so that's it. And uh, go see it, I guess, if you want. So that's it for the show today. And uh, as you can see, I got my green screen up and uh, chilling here in old Good Springs. And, and uh, the show's really coming together. And uh, I hope people like it. It seems like a lot of people watch it, uh, more people than I thought. And uh, so hi to those people. And uh, I'm just gonna keep making them. And uh, if anybody's ever got any questions for me, you can ask me on Facebook, ask me on Twitter, at Mark underscore Medina. And uh, comment on the video if you have anything you want me to talk about or have a question that maybe you wanna hear my opinion on. So that's it for Marks for Marks today. And we'll see you later. <laughs>